I was really at a difficult stage in uh, parenting. I have triplet boys that are seven years old and I was just getting very frustrated and uh, uh, my frustration grew to anger and I, I found myself screaming a lot at the kids. Parenting is hard. Uh, as a parent myself, uh, a lot of times we want to uh, be perfect parents and we're so afraid that everything that we do is going to have consequences for our kids and, and we're very worried about the choices that we make and how that affects our kids. And I think that one of the strengths of Triple P is that there is a certain amount of honesty that comes in participating in, the, in that process and there's a certain amount of sharing of that, those fears and that anxiety. And I think also there's a sense of relief that a lot of our parents feel when they realize that it's natural for parents to feel this way. I didn't have any like huge behavioral problems. I have, my boy is a very good boy, sweet boy, loving boy, but there's still those times at the grocery store where he wants that cookie or that toy and um, I just noticed there's a lot of frustration starting to build and nobody was learning any lessons and there were grouchy moments walking out of the grocery store and it didn't seem to be getting better so I thought I needed some new tools, new strategies. Well, in my practice here at Dominican Pediatrics, I use Triple P every day. I, I take the Triple P card into every room. I keep, I keep one with me. I have one with me right now. And it's a wonderful format when I take this card out and just read the wide spectrum of things that you can think of. Um, you think, does this ring true for you? Hard to go to bed? Kids minding, kids screaming, hard to go to the school, temper tantrums. Those are some of the very specific issues that are a hook that the parent can say, yes. One of the great things about Triple P is that you decide as a parent what you need from the program, what tools you want to use, what strategies you want to use for misbehavior, or what tools you want to use to encourage the positive behavior. So even though we have 20 different strategies that we can use at Triple P, most people really pick and choose strategies so that all the members of the family or sometimes even daycare providers and school teachers and bus drivers are coming and working you know, on these strategies so that they can be consistent. Andy was my practitioner and he was just awesome. I think that was also one of the great parts about um, Triple P. You know, we'd collaborate, we'd talk, we'd discuss, we'd laugh. <laughs> he probably saw me cry. And, you know, he was um, his, a friend. He, he was an ally, and he wanted to see us all do well. Positive relationships and the development of a positive relationship uh, really is the strongest when um, a child is enveloped in that, not only in their home life, but in their school life. And so this is how I think that reaching students and families at this young age extends far beyond the school setting and far beyond the 12th grade, for example. If you're tired of being in a, what I would call a rut, this frustration, angry uh, mode, uh, and you feel like you're, just, you're not getting anywhere, I would strongly encourage you to come into Triple P. They give you the tools that you need to be successful as a parent. You feel better about yourself and you have a better relationship with your children too. So all together, it's been a wonderful, positive experience.